Hey guys, Zeddy here, and today we're doing another themed DVD collection video. This is my Infinity Saga DVD collection, so let's just get right into it. First, starting off with Phase 1. Here's the first MCU movie. Here, this is Iron Man. This <coughs> essentially kicked off the MCU. And by the time Marvel was making this, they were almost about to go bankrupt again. But this movie came out and it saved them. And there's the back of the case, and there's the disc. Moving on to what I guess people are calling the black sheep of the MCU, the Incredible Hulk. This movie is, a, is I guess what some people would say, significantly darker than the other movies. I guess because of the overall mood and the theme. But, yeah, I really like this movie. And there's the back of the case, and there's the disc. Here's Iron Man 2. This is probably a very this is a very underrated movie. Very underrated. I really like this movie. And I do love that ever since Spider-Man got put into the MCU, the little kid in the Iron Man mask was retconned to be Peter Parker from you know, younger. There's the back of the case. And there's the disc. And here's Thor. This movie started to bring the MCU towards the more magical side of the MCU. And just people fell in love with Loki as soon as he showed up on screen. And there's the back of the case. And there's the disc. Here's Captain America the First Avenger. This is a prequel set in the 40s during World War II. Mostly set in the 40s. And by prequel, yes, it's a prequel in terms of where it takes place in the timeline. Here's the back of the case. And there's the disc. And here's the Avengers, the culmination of all of Phase 1 put together in one movie. And probably the first ever Marvel movie to make a billion. There's the back of the case. And there's the disc. Moving into Phase 2, here's Iron Man 3. This is a very devi divisive movie in terms of <coughs> excuse me, in terms of the whole Mandarin twist. But good thing the release of Shang-Chi fixed the whole Mandarin mess with Iron Man 3. And there's the back of the case. And there's a disc. Here we have Thor The Dark World, another divisive MCU movie. Not a lot of people really like this. I'm sure not a lot of people like, the, I guess, the way Malekith was portrayed in the movie. And there's the back of the case. And there's Disc. Here's Captain America the Winter Soldier, one of the best Captain America movies ever made. And also featured the first appearance of Sam Wilson Falcon in the MCU. And there's the back of the case. And there's Disc. Here's Guardians of the Galaxy. Not a lot of people really knew who the Guardians were until this movie came out, and that's when people went crazy about Groot and Rocket and Drax and stuff. This is probably one of my favorite Phase 2 movies, if not my favorite out of Phase 2. And there's the back of the case. And there's the disc. Here's Avengers Age of Ultron. This is still debatably a divisive movie. Because Ultron deserved better. And there's the back of the case. And there's the disc. And here's the last movie of Phase 2. Here's Ant-Man. <coughs> who's In the comics, Ant-Man was one of the original founding Avengers. So Kevin Feige saw it was important for this character to get his own movie. And here's the back of the case. And there's the disc. And this stupid clip was broken when I got it. Now finally moving into phase three with Captain America Civil War. This is where the heroes were pitted against each other and even saw the first appearance of Spider-Man and Black Panther in the MCU. There's the back of the case and there's the disc. Here's Doctor Strange, one of the newest heroes to be introduced in the MCU at this point, and bringing the MCU into the more magical side and, like, yeah, 
you know, and there's the back of the case, and there's the disc. Here's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I know some people will not like this movie as much as they did the original, but I thought, I thought it was really good, especially the final fight with Ego. There's the back of the case, and there's the disc. And here's Spider-Man Homecoming. This is where people really started to go the whole, Oh, it's just going to be Iron Boy Jr. Shut the hell up. No Way Home had fixed the MCU Spider-Man as far as the complainers would go. And here's the back of the case. And there's a disc. Here's Thor Ragnarok. This movie is super fun. I first saw this on Netflix, and when I saw from the trailers that they'd be putting a bit of Planet Hulk in this, I was super down for this movie. And there's the back of the case, and there's the disc. And here's Black Panther, one of the best movies ever. P.S. Rip Chadwick Boseman. There's the back of the case, and there's the disc. Here's Avengers Infinity War. Probably one of the biggest movies of 2018. This is the first time that the Avengers and the Guardians teamed up together. And definitely wouldn't be the last either. Here's the back of the case. And spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, this is probably the first superhero movie ever where the heroes lose. And there's a disc. Here's Ant-Man and the Wasp. This introduced Wasp to the MCU from after seeing the Ant-Man post credit scene. There's the back of the case, and there's a disc. Here's Captain Marvel, again, another prequel, per se, because it takes place in the 90s. In terms of where the movie takes place in the timeline chronologically. Here's the back of the case, and there's a disc. Here's Avengers Endgame, pretty much the last Avengers movie ever, because as far as... A lot of us know Kevin Feige has pretty much said that there might not be any other Avengers movies ever. Maybe. Who knows? And here's the back of the case. And there's the disc. And here's the last movie in the Infinity Saga. Here's Spider-Man Far From Home. This introduced Mysterio, who is just amazing. And everyone say thank you to Mysterio, because if it weren't for him, we wouldn't get No Way Home. And there's the back of the case. And there's the disc. Technically, this movie is not part of the Infinity Saga, but it is a sequel to Civil War. I know you're going to complain, but this is my video, so... Here's Black Widow. This was supposed to be a Phase 1 movie, but, you know... Marvel was at war with itself, so it wouldn't happen. There's the back of the case. And there's the disc. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow my social medias. Check out my Discord and check out my other channels. And I'll see you all next time.